Assalamu alaikum um, and welcome ladies. Good to have you here with us uh, this evening. Uh, we're live on Zoom and also on Clubhouse, uh, the Easy Health Gains Club. So you have to actually download the app and join the club to have access to the room. I'm really glad for you all to be here with me this evening. Um, I'm Faria. Um, I'm a health and wellness coach, um, soon to be certified as a nutrition coach too, inshallah. You'll see me on um, Instagram and Facebook under the handle Healthful Wellness Coach. Um, and we're live here. Uh, it's usually myself and Ruqayya, but she's a bit tied up this evening and, and also with Lisa. Um, we're here live every Saturday evenings, 6 p.m. UK time. Um, and we usually discuss a variety of um, health topics, um, usually related to uh, families and children. Um, you know, all our previous sessions, what are the, I should say the majority of our previous sessions are available um, for replay on uh, my YouTube channel, which is um, called Organic All Round. Um, and you can find them there, inshallah. We've just done a whole kind of session um, and whole, a whole section on um, Yunani Tib. And we will, inshallah, revisit that topic again soon. It was very popular um, and uh, loads of, you know, brilliant insights were gained from it. But we have done other topics too. And you're more than welcome to go back and, and check them out. So today the title is Detoxing. Um, you know, the truth around the hype that is related to, to detoxing, because obviously, you know, at the moment, it's, it's a big, it's a big one. Um, you know, everyone is talking about detoxing and cleansing and, you know, resetting themselves. But, you know, obviously, they do it around their calendar. Is it something important? Is it something that we really need to do? Or is it just, you know, a marketing ploy, you know, just something that people are trying to do just to kind of, you know, sell you things and, you know, sell supplements and that kind of stuff? You know, is it something that the human body needs? Right. So, um, you know, many people today, uh, you know, they have quite a few annoying little symptoms, they put it, they call it, right? Headaches achy joints, brain fog, fatigue, you know, gas, acne, digestive issues. And they just say, oh, you know what, it's old age, I'm tired, you know, I'm stressed out, this kind of thing. And just kind of disregard it, you know. It's something external. They don't really look at themselves. They don't really think that it has an issue, it has any issues to do with their own internal workings. Um, but did you know that these things are not normal. It's not normal to be feeling achy on a daily basis. It doesn't matter what your age is, right? It's not normal um, to have, uh, you know, digestive issues prolonged. You know, unless unless you know that you've got, you know, you've been diagnosed with, with a specific illness, there shouldn't be any reason for you to not be able to digest proteins. You know, to have trouble with certain food groups. Right. OK, that isn't normal, even though it may seem like it is normalized um, in our society to be feeling that way. So a gentle cleanse or a detox, um, you know, it can really help to reset the body and, you know, to eliminate all these kind of conditions um, on a long term basis. Right. And that's that's exactly what you want. You want optimal health. Right, optimal health doesn't mean that you just don't have a disease. Right, optimal health means that you should be thriving, inshallah. Okay, so something that's gentle, something that's not going to be uh, too harsh on the body or complicated for you to deal with is actually beneficial. So there is some truth into the whole detoxing thing, but you have to remember, alhamdulillah, you know, the way that Allah has created us. We have certain systems that should naturally detox us on a daily basis. You know, for example, your, your, your bowels, right? When you're emptying yourself, right? From um, even through the kidneys, okay? So from, you know, urine 
and other fecal waste, that's a detoxification process. Breathing is a detoxification process. Sweating is a detoxification process, right? But what happens, obviously, these systems that, that we have in us can get clogged up. You know, it's like, I don't know, um, an appliance that you have, say, you know, the washing machine, right? Mm -hmm. It's constantly working, right? It's constantly being used on a daily basis, right? Just like our bodies is undergoing a lot. Now, if we don't take time to say, oh, you know, just give it a once over with some kind of cleaning thing, you know, put some vinegar through it, clean those pipes, it's just going to get clogged up, right? It's just going to then not function properly. It's not going to wash your clothes as well. And as, you know, as, as optimal as it should. Same with our body, right? It does need to have those cleaning, innate cleaning systems to be working really well for us to be feeling very well, okay? But, you know, sometimes people hear this word detox and cleanse and they just think, oh no, you know, it, they immediately have these negative connotations around it, you know, because maybe they've seen things or you've heard about things related to detox and you think, oh, okay, you know what, this is gonna be difficult. This is gonna be complicated. You know, I'm gonna be living on green juices, which I don't even like. Um, you know, I'm gonna be starving. I'm gonna be miserable. And this is what people initially think when they think of a detox, right? But it really doesn't have to be like this, okay? It doesn't need to be uh, complicated at all. Um, you know, it shouldn't be uh, making you feel overwhelmed, okay? Um, and it doesn't have to consist of green juices. You shouldn't be feeling like, oh, I'm starving, right? Because that can actually be counterproductive to your body and it can actually cause harm to your body right so it's not just about oh okay what do I need to remove from my diet when you're doing a gentle cleanse or a gentle reset yes you take things out but the important thing is putting things back in so um you know a detox that is designed well right um it not only helps those undesirable issues that are happening in your life now, okay, it actually allows you to heal on every level, okay? So, you know, things like weight gain, right? Your mood, your skin, your sleep. If it's something that's done well, all of these things, inshallah, should improve, okay? So I'm just going to, like, cover five reasons why maybe you should consider a detox, a cleanse, a reset, whatever you want to call it, right? You know, why you should even bother with it, okay? Because look, we're busy, right? We've got kids, we've got housework, we've got cooking, we've got work, whatever it is, right? It's not easy just to kind of say, oh, okay, I'm going to do this, right? I get that, yeah? Um, but why is it important to kind of implement something that's going to benefit your body because look think about it ladies um if you look after yourself if you feel well in yourself how is it now that you're going to now approach the many roles that you have to do you're going to be able to approach it with energy you know with with happiness um you know without feeling like oh my god you know i'm so overwhelmed i'm so overburdened with so many other things because you know that saying is you know, you have to fill your own cup before you can fill someone else's, right? And looking after yourself is not selfish, okay? Because a lot of mums, and you may have seen it with your own mothers, you know, that they sacrificed themselves for, for, to make us happy. You know, they, they did away with sleep. They may have even done away with eating well. That's what mothers do, right? But that isn't, that isn't correct in a sense, right? Because if you're going to sacrifice your health and your well-being and you become unwell, who then is going to be there for your children? You know, who's going to take on that role? And, you know, inshallah, we want to be at, an, at a point in our lives and in our health that we get to an old age and we still have strength. You know, we still, we, we don't have to rely on anyone else to, to cook for us or to change us or, you know, 
Allah protect us from you know the the, the evils of, of becoming old and you know having to rely on people Allah protect us from that I mean so you know looking after yourself is, is a form of self-respect right and there's there's no there's no like shame in that there's no uh guilt to say right okay you know what I'm going to go and give myself a 15 minute soak in the tub or 20 minute you know uh me time kind of thing okay there, there should be no shame and guilt attached to that and so feeding yourself well and looking after your body is like a form of self-respect right and you know if you have children sons daughters whatever you have if they see you taking care of yourself they will know right okay you know what mom's doing this this is important i should do this too Right. Okay. And um, that's that's the kind of the thing that spurred me on with my children. And I have four daughters. You know, um, it was like if I look, if I don't make the changes for my health now, what is it going to look like for my grandchildren? You know, what are my children going to do if I never learn how to cook properly? What are my children going to do? How will they learn anything if all I'm doing is just throwing something in the oven at the end of the day because I'm so tired? Right. So taking that time for yourself is super important, inshallah. And, you know, it, it's not anything that you should be thinking is, is, is burdensome. Right. So. So five reasons why it is something that you should bother with. Right. Because, listen. Just in a matter of few of a few days of making these changes, you can feel amazing. Okay, and it, it is literally a few days, ta'ala, you know, a few simple tweaks here and there can make you feel amazing in a few days. You know, like you just want to jump out of bed, you have vibrance, you have energy, because what it what you eat, you know, it has a direct impact on how you feel. And I know a lot of us don't kind of connect the two together, but that's exactly how it is what you're putting inside of you is going to dictate how you feel what your mood is going to be like right um and uh, you know so think about it if you're going to be having junk you're going to feel like junk right uh, the second reason why you should bother with resetting yourself and looking after yourself and taking this time to detox is because it helps you overcome any food addictions, okay? Now, you have to remember, a lot of white, refined flours, sugars, whatever it is, grains, right? And foods that are highly processed, like they have the term ultra-processed now, right? They actually not just, you know, cause harm to your body right it, they actually make chemical changes to your brain okay so and it's not something it, you know that 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 you could even blame the person who's having those things because these things are made in lab they're made by scientists who know exactly what they're doing when they are creating these foods they are designed to be addictive they are designed to make you eat more of them and to crave more of them right that is the whole reason behind them. So anything that's made in a factory like that, you know, and it's got a whole long list of ingredients, then, you know, you've got to be quite wary of that, okay? Um, and, and it's those kind of things that just want, you just want to keep eating them. You become addicted to them, okay? So that extra weight that you gain, okay? And it, and it feels so hard to shift, okay? Those are those that fat is where toxins live. You are not going to be able to remove that fat until you've detox detoxified that toxin that's in it, right? Until that happens, you won't lose the weight. Okay, so people notice that once they start, um, you know, overcoming their addictions with food, weight loss becomes easy. It's like it's not even something you have to think about, okay? And I know as we get older, we slow down. You know, maybe some of us are um, at the point of, you know, maybe 
we've had a good few children and now we're like struggling to shift that weight. Um, um, right, so when you're choosing um, to detoxify, you finally find yourself able to lose the weight that you struggled with for ages. Okay, because when you're choosing to detoxify and you're making better food choices, you can make a change that's going to affect your body on a, on a whole level. Um, and it's going to change your palate slowly, slowly, inshallah. And it definitely happens. Uh, when, we, when we started doing that, I remember um, one, of the, one of the first things that we kind of looked at was uh, how much sugar we were having in our diet and the things that had added sugar. You know, so like the, the, the ketchups, the, you know, some of the tinned soups and stuff like that, that had added sugar. And we just started removing them. Um, and then we kind of did something as a family when the children were a bit younger, where we only had sugar um, at the weekends. And maybe about two weeks into it, the kids were like, wow, you know, when we actually had sugar on the weekend, they were like, ouch, you know, my throat is hurting. This is so sweet. So your palate can absolutely change. And when that does happen, alhamdulillah, you know, you will find certain foods that you used to crave and want no longer become that appealing to you. Why does that happen? Because you are now nourishing your body on a cellular level and you're providing it with the nutrients that it needs. So it's satisfied. It's satiated. And, you know, alhamdulillah, this overcomes many, many things, right? Uh, the third reason why, you know, you should bother uh, with, with a detox is because it's an opportunity to remove common allergens, right? So a gentle detox may remove things like gluten, dairy, and sugar, okay? And these are the three common allergens, okay? Um, and many people, they tend to have food sensitivities, but they don't really pick up on it or they don't really you know they think well um you know i'm not having a, a full-blown allergic rea reaction to gluten or to dairy so you know i'm just i'm going to still consume it okay but it could be slowly slowly damaging their gut lining and you know then they are starting to get other issues joint pain you know um digestive issues skin imbalances right weight that they can't just shift right and they just kind of think, well, you know, it's not related to, to bread or it's not related to milk. I've never had an issue with it. And you, they just kind of sweep those symptoms under the carpet, right? But when you take a few days to actually remove them from your diet, okay, and gently, I'm not talking about something that's going to be like, oh my God, what am I going to eat, right? It's not going to be like that. A simple thing, a simple system, right? you'll suddenly realize maybe when you do introduce those things back in your diet, it doesn't feel that good anymore to eat it. I'm Salam alaikum. sorry, ladies, I don't know what happened to my sound there. Kindly excuse me. Uh, okay, here we go. Okay, sorry, um, Maryam, you had your hand up. Did you want to ask a question, sis? Sorry, ladies, I don't know what happened to the sound there. Oh, Mariam, did you have a question? You're, you're more than welcome to ask it on the, uh, if you want to open your mic or you can put it into the chat box, inshallah. Um, okay. Right, so uh, we were just mentioning how it, um, it, it's a way for you to remove common allergens and then you are able to... Um, oh, sorry. Okay, oh, Mariam, you couldn't hear me, right? Okay, so I, I just mentioned how resetting yourself and detoxing yourself is an opportunity to remove gluten, dairy, and sugar out of your diet. And when you do that, you you know people who who do have food sensitivities, not not allergic reactions, right? They're sensitive to these foods and they don't realize that they have issues with them. Um, when you actually go through a detox program. Um, and then you maybe introduce the foods back, you realize, okay, hold on a second. I now don't feel so comfortable eating it. Or when you're going through the program and you've removed them, 
um, <clears throat> you realize how good you feel. And you think, wow, okay, so, you know, that those headaches that I'm getting every two weeks, you know, can be easily removed, for example, okay? So that's what, that's what doing a reset gives you an opportunity to do. Um, yes, so another reason, the fourth reason is, um, it's an opportunity to press the reset button, right? You know, we're constantly on the go, right? We're busy. Um, and we fall into bad habits with eating, you know, maybe sleeping, our lifestyle, you know, we become more sedentary. Uh, maybe there's just too much sugar. Maybe we're not handling the stress in our lives very well. And so, you know, we don't really feel good. Going through a reset, it allows you to just pause for a few days, you know? And to be a bit more mindful of what you're doing in your life and what you're putting inside, you know, how are you fueling yourself, right? A gentle detox will allow you to give your body a kickstart even in the right direction, okay? And it just it's simple tweaks, simple healthy meals. It's a great opportunity to put your body back to factory settings, you could even say, right? Um, and the fifth reason why you should bother with, with a detox, right, and there is truth in it, is it allows you to have that much needed me time, okay? We're constantly on the go, okay? And, you know, we don't sometimes have an opportunity to say, yeah, I'm going to look after me, okay? So, you know, we even sometimes forget to eat well right and we even you know lose sight of how important that can be not just for ourselves but also for our families okay so a short gentle detox is going to help you to to reach your health goals faster inshallah um, it can show you how easy a, a healthy lifestyle can be okay and it can show you that healthy eating doesn't need to be complicated okay um, <clears throat> so you know when, when you are thinking about detoxing because look think about it the societies that we live in today there's a lot of toxins around us you know from the air that we breathe from the things that we put in our skin you know from the foods that we consume okay so we are constantly bombarded so the reason why you see a lot of people talking about detoxes and cleanses is you know it's an opportunity um, and we do sometimes need to give our systems a break. You know, we do sometimes need to give them the opportunity to heal because alhamdulillah, the way that Allah has created us, we have these innate systems that can get better, that can heal, but we've got to give them the tools to be able to do that, right? I mean, you're not, you're not going to um, hire a builder and he doesn't own, you know, any drills or any paintbrushes or you know, anything, it doesn't make any sense. What's he going to do? So it's, this, it's the same with our bodies. If we are just constantly, constantly eating, constantly eating and not allowing any rest for the digestive system, not allowing it to, you know, um, focus on areas that it can, where it needs to heal, then, you know, we're not really setting ourselves up for optimal health long-term. Um, <clears throat> and for those of you who are interested, you may have seen, you know, uh, my, my five-day reset that is starting, inshallah, on, uh, on the 10th of January. Um, and the, the reason why I want to set it up was, was mainly because, you know, just to help us busy mums, um, you know, and the sisters in our community, because I, I didn't really see anything like this available. Um, you know, and it's an opportunity, inshallah, for you to remove gluten, dairy, and sugar from your diet, the three common allergens, and to get you back on track. And it's a simple and effective kickstart. Okay, and we'll be starting as a group uh, on Monday, the 10th of January, and it's just five days. Five days, that's all it's going to take for you to commit to, right? And then you have your weekend, inshallah, 
So if you wish to carry it on and you feel good and you think, right, okay, you know what, maybe for a couple more days I can do this, then by all means do it. <clears throat> but if you're like, okay, you know what, I've done it and I feel good and I'm going to go back and see, you know, or maybe I'm going to try it now with my children or maybe, you know, this kind of thing with my husband, by all means, you know, you're able to do that because it just requires five days. And in those five days, you can realize that, yes, you know what? Making these healthy changes isn't that difficult. Trying these new recipes, you know, making a few tweaks here and there with, with what we eat for dinner or for breakfast or for lunch even, it's not that complicated as I thought it would be, right? Um, because it's absolutely possible. Um, so it, the program that I'm offering, um, it gives you a complete suggested meal plan, recipes, uh, it, even a shopping list. So, you know, you could literally just print, press print. There you've got your list, head off to Tesco, Sainsbury's, wherever you go, or even just take a screenshot. It's that simple. It's, it's not like you have to think about anything, okay? I've even given you a detailed daily protocol. So literally what you do when you wake up, do this now, go have your lunch, do this now, you know, and it can be really, really tailored to you because look, at the end of the day, if you're going to do a program that is just so not connected to your life, you're just going to give up. You're not even going to see it through the end, right? You might last a day. And that's what we don't want. We don't want you giving up. You know, I want you to stick through this, inshallah, because I know that you can do it. You know, you've shown up here. You've shown up live. You've come, you know, to ask questions. You've come here to learn about your health. So you do realize how important health is. So I don't want you to take part in something and then say, hey, you know what? I can't do it. Right, so that's why this this system that that I have um, is is totally catered to you. If you look at a recipe and you think, oh well, you know, maybe I don't have this. I've got this instead. By all means, you can do that. The meal plan. There's a created meal plan for you, and you'll also get an empty one that you can that if you want to fill in yourself, you can fill in yourself, no problem. Okay, so with the protocol, you know exactly what to do and when. OK, and on top of all that, you also get support because, look, think about it. When you've done something on your own, right, if you're doing something on your own, it's really difficult. Uh, when I first went gluten free uh, for health reasons, I thought, OK, let me remove gluten from my diet. I'd gone to see a naturopath and I thought, excuse me, um, I need to remove gluten from my diet because I'm having, you know, I'm, I'm having sensitivity issues in regards to it. It was so difficult doing it on my own. It was so difficult having to think, oh, I need to make two meals or I have to kind of constantly be thinking about whether this has gluten in it or not. But when we made changes as a family, when it was like, I was like, okay, you know, we can't, we can't do this long term. And we decided as a whole family to, to make them changes. Alhamdulillah, it was so much more easier. It just felt like a burden had been lifted. And the thing with this five-day protocol that I'm offering, you can quite easily you do this as a family. Um, and that's what I'm planning to do, inshallah, on the 10th of January. Um, I'm planning to do it with my family, with the kids, inshallah. Um, you know, so we can all kind of have a reset and we can all kind of rest, you know, our detoxification organs that we have in us. Um, <clears throat> So, you know, support is, is super important. When you have, you know, people cheerleading you, you have like-minded sisters around you, you're going to be more motivated. You're not going to feel like cheating. You're not going to feel like giving up, right? Because you've got that accountability partner there. You've got the group there. And that's what we're going to be having too, inshallah. The sisters who have jumped on, we're all going to be in a group. Um, um, some of them are going to be on Facebook and some of them are going to be on WhatsApp. Um, and uh, it will be we'll be spurring each other on and you know just making sure everyone's staying on the ball with it inshallah um, and that's what it is you know when you have people who know what you're about you're going to be so happy to share your successes with them okay and they'll get work what you're talking about All right and um, you know the early bird 
the early bird offer that we had actually finished yesterday. But um, if any of you who are here live, you know, I want to reward you for your turning up and for your efforts, you know, to, to, to be concerned with your health, I'm more than happy to offer um, you the, the same price that we offered yesterday. Um, and I'll be closing the doors completely for this five day reset um, on the third, because I want to give, I want to send all the information out for everyone. You know, you get a handbook that you, you need to read through. Um, there'll be a live session where we'll just kind of go for everything and how the five days are going to be. You don't have to turn up live to any anything. Um, there's, I'm going to be on at the beginning and at the end, inshallah. And, um, you know, just to kind of make sure everyone's there, you'll get a daily protocol just to kind of make sure, you know, you're, you're there, you're feeling motivated. Um, but, the, you know, everything will be recorded anyway. Um, there's, like I said, only one thing at the end and one thing at the beginning, inshallah. So if that's something that really interests you, you know, and you feel like, yes, you know, I'm at that point now where I just want to give myself a kickstart. I need a boost, you know, I'm not eating well. I'm not, I've not been feeling good. You know, I'm not sleeping well. I'm tired all the time. Then, you know, this kind of gentle reset inshallah, will, will help you ta'ala, um, get back on track. So if there are any questions, um, uh, okay, there's a question here, one second. So, um, the sister, Om Maryam, Assalamu alaikum, Barakala Fixis, um, for the advice, are you going to give us steps to do the detox? I really need to do it for, for myself and for my children too. There's a lot of yeah, this is the thing. There is so much confusing information online, right? If you look up, if you just Google the word detox, you'll see the amount of confusing information there is out there. You're very right. I mean, um, even some sisters that, you know, that I've spoke, they're like, yes, I do need to do a detox. And they, they tell me about the detox that they're considering. And I'm, and I'm thinking, wow, that's, that's quite a harsh detox to suddenly do. I've done quite a few, you know, through my years and through my wellness journey, I've done very harsh ones, which, um, you know, not, not working with anyone, not, not, not being any, under any guidance. It's just like I've read something and think, wow, yeah, you know, that's what I need to do. I need to do a, a seven day juice cleanse. And you, you feel tired. You feel like you can't, you know, function in your role as a mother because you're, I can't just like, okay, switch off motherhood and do switch on detox, right? It doesn't work like that. And I've done many like that. Um, but yes, in the program um, on Maryam, you get everything that you need to do. It's literally a done for you package. Okay, so you're going to be, you're, all you literally have to do is say, yes, I'm going to commit for five days. And you, you just read through the recipes and you just buy the ingredients, right, basically. That's all you have to do. In terms of you know um, how to do it, I will give you everything on what you need to do. So you know what in the morning, in the afternoons, you know everything. Inshallah, <clears throat> from the beginning to the end is provided. And the reason why it's an effective detox, okay, is is because you're going to be removing things that are known as common allergens. And you're going to be including things in your diet to not only boost your health, but boost your well-being too. Okay? So there's going to be, you know, a, a simple system that you have to follow. And inshallah, you can do it as a family. You can 100% do it as your family. Um, you know, because there's nothing that's going to be like, right, okay, you have to have um, a green, you don't, you don't eat dinner, you have to have a green juice. It's not like that. It's not like that at all. Um, so, you know, if, if, if this is something that interests you, then um, by all means, um, if you reach out to me uh, by midnight today, inshallah, then I'm more than happy to offer you the, the early bird price, which ended yesterday. And like I said, I won't be taking on um, anyone after the third, because I want to send you all the information in time that gives you seven days to prepare yourselves um you know get all the things that you need the shop, shopping wise um to kind of read through the handbook and just say you know have your meal plans ready this kind of thing so that you are focused and you know pumped up for these five days inshallah so 
if there's anyone who's interested in that, um, you know, you can send me a private message um, here on Zoom, or you can reach out to me um, on Instagram. Um, my handle is healthful wellness coach. Um, and you can text, send me the word reset and I will send you the information. And as long as you complete payment and everything by midnight today, you'll be able to jump on at the early bird price. And I would love to have you on there. Alhamdulillah, at the moment, we have a, a good group of sisters who are going to be um, doing this five-day reset together. And I'm really excited to have everyone on board. I'm really looking forward to, you know, the, the, the wins that you're going to achieve at the end of five days. And yes, you can achieve weight loss. You can achieve, you know, feeling great and you know you can achieve sleeping well in five days um, and, and it's just about the main thing is 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 the mindset thing you know ladies when you realize that hey you know what i can do this then inshallah you can take that forward you know and if you are planning a reset there uh, a sister contacted me and said that she's planning to do quite a heavy detox later so if that is something that you want to do, then this is kind of like a really easy way to um, uh, take you into that, inshallah. Because when you're doing something that's a bit more intense, um, if you've never done it before, you are really going to struggle. Um, if you've never removed things from your diet before, then doing something quite harsh like that may not be uh, good in the sense that it could be counterproductive um, to your body. Um, you know, and if you are like, for example, you know, if, if you suddenly remove, I don't know, you stop eating completely and you do a water fast, for example, um, your body is going to think, hey, hold on a second, there's no food anymore. So it's going to be in, in a stress situation, in a fight or flight mode, it's going to be switched on. And it's actually going to start to hold on to fat because it's going to be worried about the fact that there's no food coming in. Right, so when you're doing something without being under guidance, or you're doing something really harsh straight away, um, you haven't given your body time to cope with it. If I said to you, oh, tomorrow, right, okay, you better be here at 7 a.m. and we're going to run a marathon. You haven't done any training. You haven't warmed up even, you know, your body. You know, you've done no preparation. How are you going to be able to run this marathon? You know, that's virtually impossible, right? So if you're looking to set yourself up for a larger detox or something that you know that your body really requires then do something gentle and light and effective first and then inshallah you're able to do something like that so anyone that wants to reach out or ask any questions um i'm more than happy to take questions right now i'm going to stop recording so um you can uh ask open your mics and, and that kind of thing and feel comfortable to do so and appreciate every single one of you being here and supporting uh, me this evening. Jazakallah khair. Sorry, one second.